Hi guys, it's Crystal with Design Bundles. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to sublimate this camping coffee mug with your Cricut mug press. So I've already got it shut, but as you guys can see, it just slides in and out. So it's not enough pressure to sublimate, but if you guys get this conductive green rubber, this is made for sublimation. This is gonna help you get nice, even pressure for some of your sublimation projects. So you can actually get this from Condi, and then you can cut it down to whatever size you need, and you're gonna use it over and over and over again for the rest of its life. So like, for example, I cut this one down, and it's gonna go with these mugs. Every single time, you can apply a piece of tape to hold it in place as you drop it down into your mug press. We're gonna go ahead and drop this down. And now you can see that it's got a tighter fit. Now keep in mind, if you do this, you guys are running a risk of it not working properly because of Cricut has designed this for their mugs. So you'll notice your lights will go off or they'll blink faster. But what I do is I just use a timer and I do around three and a half minutes. Now, sometimes you may need to double it up. So you can actually take this and you can take several pieces if you need to as well to get a little bit of a stronger grip. So you'll just have to play around with it, but I wanted to show you guys that it definitely was an option. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go over the supplies you're gonna need for today's project. You're gonna need a camping mug sublimation blank. You're gonna need to already have printed out your sublimation design. This is the one that I'm using today and I'll have it linked down below. Heat resistant tape and green conductive rubber that you can get from Condi if you guys are using your Cricut mug press. If you're not, then you definitely don't have to use this. You could do this in a convection oven as well as other mug presses. So with this green conductive rubber, you can cut it down to whatever size you're gonna need and you can reuse it over and over. It's gonna last forever. I have already cut a piece out that's gonna perfectly fit my mug here. Now you can definitely just take a little ruler there and figure out your dimensions and cut yours down to size. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take some rubbing alcohol and a clean cloth here and go ahead and wipe down my mug so it's ready to go. Next up, we are ready to apply our design. Now this is gonna work the exact same way if you guys are doing a full wrap, but for me, I'm just doing one side of the mug. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my design here, line it up where I'd like it and apply my heat resistant tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my tape about the length of each side of the paper. I'm gonna apply one side down and then I will pull nice and tight, as tight as I possibly can. So that way it gives nice pressure and then apply the other side of the tape. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my piece of parchment paper, just as I usually do, because I now wanna protect my conductive rubber. Usually, I'm protecting my heat press, mug press, but right now, I wanna protect my rubber so I can use it over and over again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this down to size and apply another piece of tape. So I just wanna get this down to protect that rubber, like I said. So let's go ahead and take our cut down piece of rubber and apply it to, and it doesn't matter which side, um, you apply. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this around the mug. And then what I'm going to do to get this to hold in place while I place it down in my mug press since it's hot is I'm going to take a piece of the heat resistant tape just to hold this in place while I set it down into the mug press. All right, so let's go ahead and take this over to the Cricut mug press and set it right inside. So I've already got my mug press on. It's ready to go. I'm just going to go ahead and slide this down just like usual and close it. Now, once again, if your buttons go a little bit crazy, they go fast or they turn themselves off, then just go ahead and set yourself a timer like I did here on my phone and do about three and a half minutes. Once your time is up, we're ready to pop it open. Now, I do highly recommend when you're using the metal, definitely use your um, heat resistant gloves because this is going to be super hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually remove that green rubber off while it's cooling down. That way it can kind of cool down a little bit faster. So I'm just gonna go ahead and carefully remove that green rubber without pulling off any of my parchment paper or my actually sublimation design. And I'm just gonna set it aside and let it cool down and then we'll peel it up. Once it's completely cooled down, we're gonna go ahead and peel up our parchment paper, 
pull off our um, sublimation design. And as you guys will be able to see here, how super cute is this? I love the way the colors came out and everything. So if you guys have something that's a little bit smaller, I would definitely be careful. Um, we know that glass does not work in here. So definitely be mindful that you're risking your super cute little machine here. So take caution and do that on your own risk. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.